moving applications into the cloud. And that's not just proof of concept stuff, it's really taking meaningful applications and moving them to the cloud. Yeah, collaboration software, sometimes even HR software are some of the earlier pieces that, that are being moved to the cloud. And then you get this long-term integration strategy, which is all around new IT has to be cloud ready. And I'll, and I'll give you a better definition of that in a moment. That doesn't only mean that you're going to run it in the cloud, you may even run it on premise for a while, but you need to have the ability to move that application or that service to the cloud whenever you want to. And then there's a sort of a long-term existing strategy and we'll, we'll do a bit in depth there as well. So what does cloud really mean in my eyes? Decomposition of the separate pieces such that you can make use of the elasticity features. It needs to be fully automatable so that you can have business rules that decide how, great, how things grow and shrink. And security needs to be built into the application from the ground up. No longer relying on a moat around you, but security needs to be a primary um, concern of the application builder such that they can ensure that the application can be fully secured by itself. Existing IT, um, often engineer group, uh, often uh, IT groups then do a deep dive on their own architectures and of their own applications, looking for dependencies, compliance constraints, and then coming up with a sort of a priority list of which things can easily move to the cloud and for which other applications the ROI might be more uh, complicated. But it's not only those applications, it's also IT support itself. You know, there's um, environmental concerns, I think, these days, that you want to have definitely your older hardware go off your books pretty early, especially if they have a high carbon, uh, carbon foot footprint, and moving those services into the cloud will immediately uh, remove a whole range of uh, probably pretty expensive hardware off your books. Uh, IT support around business continuity, but maybe also backups and things like that. So there's many areas where we see that IT organization itself can just use the cloud for itself. An important tool in terms of migration there is actually Amazon VPC. That's the Amazon Virtual Private Cloud. And the first version of VPC was actually really focused on extending your own data center. So what, what does this mean? You cordon off a piece of the Amazon cloud and you can put any resources in there that you want to because you assign your own address block to it. Connect that back with a VPC, with a, a VPN tunnel, and all of those resources that you've put in your private piece of the Amazon cloud can only communicate back to your own data center. And so this makes your data center elastic by nature. Yeah? But that was, um, that was a simple approach to it, and we had, uh, we had a lot of customers using this in sort of their initial migrations to the cloud, so that they could, for example, keep dependencies on, a, on an LDAP server or on an Active Directory server on-premise, but move the applications themselves into the cloud. Um, customer asked for a more, uh, a more extensive control over this, so VPC number two um, that we released earlier this year gives you a lot more detailed control over the network infrastructure that you can put in the cloud. So you can build private networks, public networks, network address transition boxes, egress, ingress rules, and uh, you can have them communicate with the internet on the strict controls and actually still communicate back to your own data centers as well. This gives you highly flexible control over exactly how your environment runs in the cloud, where traffic can, can grow, and who can access which services. Yeah, so I think our future investments have always been very clear. Number one, security. Yeah, we will forever have security and operational excellence as our number one investment areas. Not only from an operational point of view, actually, but also from an innovation point of view. Yeah, we really want to develop new security approaches and new security tools that will give you much more fine-grained control than some, of our custom, than some of you have ever had in your own data centers. And of course, you know, global expansion is, is always on the list, but also to make it much easier to use these services. Yeah, so closing off, you, know, you have to ask yourself, you know, when you choose a cloud, you know, what are, in my eyes, the, different, the most important uh, pieces to look at? Security, you know, does your provider really understand security? Does he make information about his compliance and his procedures available to you? Um, what's the track record, uh, both in terms of operational, but also cost? You know, does it give you flexibility? 
and how fast is he actually responding to your domains, the, to your requests. So I've always said for a long time, you know, this is day one, and by now maybe that day one kind of thing starts getting a little bit old to folks to hear, but I think the impact on, on IT, on the larger IT organizations, we're just starting to see those. We see a whole range of very rich new applications being developed. We see that the ecosystem of AWS is becoming much larger with very innovative new services that allow us to develop applications much richer. And most importantly, I think cloud has completely leveled the landscape for any business to be built and get off the ground immediately and start targeting their customers directly. And as such, we're really proud to be part of this whole new generation of applications being, being developed. As such, it is still day one because I think we've, st we've got so many more great things to come in, uh, in the coming months and the coming years. And Amazon will be working very hard to make sure that you have the tools to deliver that what you need to do for your customers. So with that, thank you very much. This is my, um, my business card and I'd like to hand them over to you guys. This is, again, a cloud company running, of course, on AWS. And uh, with that, I thank you for, for your attention and I would like to, uh, to introduce the magician. Yes, the guy that will actually really demonstrate to you how all of this stuff really works. Thank you. <laughs>